everybody. Today I'm going to be discussing with you my initial thoughts and impressions after about a week of owning the Kessler CineShooter motion control system. First off, Kessler did send me this unit for evaluation as part of the promotion we're running in the Red Komodo and Raptor Facebook groups. However, I did purchase all of the accessories in addition to this unit so that I could achieve the shots that I wanted to. Now I've been interested in motion control for decades, and I've been fortunate enough to work on plenty of shoots with motion control involved, however, I've not been able to afford using motion control on one of my shoots, let alone own my very own. So my experience with Kessler products is somewhat limited to the Kessler crane, and then years ago the original CineDrive motion control system. Now, I haven't used that system in probably 8 years. While that was very good for the time, it was really time consuming to set up shots and sometimes you really wouldn't be able to fit it into the schedule on tight budgets. So although the results were really good, it was kind of a pain to work with. So that brings me to a few weeks ago. My friend Scott Balkum is a huge advocate for Kessler as you know, and he was finally able to talk them into offering the Facebook groups an exclusive deal, but more on that later. This got me excited because I've been eyeballing the Cine Shooter since it came out. So knowing the Cine Shooter was limited to pan and tilt axis, I knew I wanted to add at least a slider axis and also a follow focus motor. So four axis all together and that kind of gave me an idea of what I needed to order. I already own a Dana Dolly, like most of you probably do too. And listening to Scott's suggestions, I kind of didn't want the motor for the Dana Dolly. Instead, I ordered the Kessler Shuttle Dolly because I wanted reliable results with my motion control. So when I initially opened up the shuttle dolly, I was really blown away by the build quality. You see, these are not the same type of wheels that I had on my Dana dolly. Um, they're not just regular skateboard wheels. They really are some sort of industrial strength special material. So it really allows you to get very precise movement, even at the macro level. I do appreciate the design of the top of the shuttle dolly. It has handles built in, as well as plenty of mounting points for cable management and accessories. So that brings me to my initial setup and testing. So when I first opened it up, I wasn't able to mount it to my Matthew stands like I normally would. And this was a little disappointing because they don't include the female baby male junior pin adapter like they used to. So I had to come up with an alternative solution, which was using two of my photography tripods with articulating heads, both mounted to each side of the dolly track using Arca Swiss plates. So this allowed me to offset either side of the track, so I wasn't limited to just a horizontal track. Over the next few days, I started using the Chaos iPhone app, and while it was very easy, I was somewhat limited with the results I was getting, so I moved to the full app on my MacBook. They do also support Windows and iPad OS, and if you're installing this on a Mac, be careful not to install the iPad version. Do go to the Kessler website directly and download the latest version. So my first attempts were not the smoothest results. and. That's because motion control has a pretty big learning curve. Speaking with Scott, he was able to walk me through a few things to help me get better results. And Kessler has a Center Shooter user group set up on Facebook just for user support. I ran for about another two days, programming moves to try to figure out what was working well and what wasn't. So I found that making sure your payload is properly balanced and then really paying attention to those curves in the app and smoothing those out really results in the best motion. When I finally moved over to the Full Chaos app, things became much more intuitive and I saved a lot of time in between setups. Kessler has a free light version of the app, which is great, but I needed the premium version which is only available as a premium subscription model or a one-time licensing fee. Now, most people probably won't need the premium app, however, for exactly what I was trying to do with as many keyframes as I was doing, I needed it. I highly suggest you reach out to Jason over at Kessler for a consultation to determine which accessories you're going to need for the shots you're trying to achieve. I've now had to order a second order because I didn't get everything I wanted the first time, just not knowing what to order, so definitely reach out to Jason. I think this system is designed and made modular in a way that allows each individual to customize their system and exactly what they need based on what they're trying to achieve. And however, that might be one of the perceived downsides of the ecosystem, don't let it deter you. The Cine Shooter is indeed the main brain component, but it is limited to the pan and tilt two axis. With support for an additional three axis built into the unit, if you want to expand to an additional three axis, then you'll need to purchase the second shooter controller. All along the way, these things do add up, but it does make sense when you're trying to achieve something very specific. Now, speaking of pricing, 
Right now, Kessler is offering an exclusive group discount to the Red Komodo, Komodo X user group, and the DSMC3 Raptor group on Facebook. The deal is only available there for a limited time, so click the link below if you want access to the group. If you've been contemplating getting into motion control, or you're already very serious about it, it's a great time to act because this deal Kessler is offering really helps springboard new users into their ecosystem. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to watch my video today. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I don't really do videos like this often, but you guys have Scott Balkum to thank for that, for this one. And if you liked the video, please leave a comment below and let me know. I really appreciate the time you took watching my video today. It really does mean a lot to me. And please, if you haven't yet, like the video and subscribe to my channel, as it will encourage me to continue putting out more content. Thank you. Peace.